Welcome back, gamers. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Genshin Impact playthrough session and the continuation of my Sumeru Archon Quest Act 5 playthrough. Yesterday, I streamed for about three to four hours and we basically went through the early stages of Operation Save Nahida and overthrow the government of Sumeru. There's a lot of plans happening from a bunch of different angles. You got Sino having a plan with the Eremite. You have Alhatham doing a bunch of different things like messing around with the divine knowledge capsules and that crazy like knowledge capsule like helmet and whatnot dia is also involved and i i love how the plan is coming together a lot of um pre-established setups for the plan and then as we execute the plan we basically understand how the characters came to their conclusions in a natural way so it doesn't feel like anything shoehorned in we just recruited nilu which is great so she's going to be contributing in her own way as well so i'm very excited to see how she's going to be a part of it and i think I think the ultimate plan is to bust into the inner city, reach the shrine of Suristana with the help of the Eremite and all of the five star characters of this region, and basically give Nahida full freedom and reign to kind of uh, repossess control of her nation from the corrupt sages of the academia. We have to basically pick up where we left off. I got to head up here, and I believe this is where the quest starts. So the academia's Nagarba Day has finally come. All your plans and preparations are for one purpose and one purpose only to save a god. That's so badass. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hello, you two. Sleep well? Oh, yes. Uh, not really. Oh. I got too nervous thinking about today and didn't fall asleep until the sun was almost up. What about you, all hate them? Naturally, I slept just fine. After all, a good rest should be considered part of the plan, since energy is an important resource. See, chat, I was it was good for me to take that break between last stream and this one. I'm I'm also well rested. You, you just want to show off how calm you are. <laughs> it's crucial to dissipate any tension before we execute our plan. Yeah, lest you fumble the bag. The only thing you're doing is being annoying. Hey, takes one to know one, Paimon. Anyway. Do you need me to go over the game plan again? Yeah, I probably wasn't paying attention. I want to confirm everything again. Our target is Grand Sage Azar's office. Let's go! Everyone in the academia knows that's where the Grand Sage's console is. Okay. Only they can operate it. Okay, the console for the Akasha? Many restricted commands and operations are executed via that console. All right. I'm sure that console has a way to free Lesser Lord Kusanali. Yo, the Grand Sage is a console gamer. Let's go. You know, paimon has been thinking... What kind of technology could let the sages imprison mm, even a god? That is true. That isn't something they could have accomplished with their scholarly talents alone. Mm. In the sanctuary of Suristhana, there's a device of Greater Lord Ruka Devata's that she once used to isolate herself while meditating. Oh shit, so they basically reverse engineered that? 500 years ago, the Grand Sage at the time modified the device so that it could no longer be controlled from the inside. They were effectively trapping one god with the power of another. Oh my god. <laughs> they're using Ruka Devada's power to trap Nahida. So they're using her past self to trap her present self. So, uh... Sheesh. How are we going to get to the Grand Sage's office? Don't forget, today is Nyagarbaha Day. Arguably the most important day to the academia. Mm. The sages and core academia personnel are busy loading the latest batch of research developments and legal decrees into knowledge capsules so that they can be entered into the Akasha. All right, we're going to ruin their fun. All the Darshan's researchers have their noses to the grindstone, and the academia's grounds are flowing with all sorts of people. It's the perfect time for an infiltration. Nice. When the Grand Sage leaves his office to supervise the entering process, that's our cue to access the console and free the Denger Archon. Yeah, I feel like we're freaking Phantom Thieves right now, and Nahida's the treasure. Uh, when you put it that way, the plan feels a little unrefined. Well, yes. That's just the visible side of our plan, after all. If precedence holds, the Academia should have already started preparing for Nyagarbaha Day. Yeah. Everyone should be in position. All that's left is for us to lead the charge. All right, I wonder how this is going to pop off. Let's go. Let's go! Uh so are we just gonna walk in through the front door, or...? <laughs> yes. Were you expecting a stealthy approach? Damn, I was expecting some, like, Mission Impossible, like, rappelling from a freaking rope from the ceiling or something, you know? <laughs> just walk in like I own the place. Enter the Academia together with all Hatham. Let's see. <laughs> Hello, your god has arrived. All right, we are in... 
Okay, who's gonna make the first move? Oh! S scribe Uh-oh. Please, wait. Are you Scribe Al-Haytham? <laughs> Uh-oh, we've been busted immediately. That's me. Is something the matter? I'm in a hurry. Uh, no. I was just surprised to see you here. I had heard that the sages were looking for you not long ago, oh. but I didn't know what for. And, um, also, please don't bring outside guests into the academia. Outside guests? I have this letter of recommendation from some guy at the chasm that I still haven't fucking used yet. This isn't looking good. Outside guests? How did you arrive at such a conclusion? Your groundless inference shames the Haravatat Darshan. Yo, remember my name. I'm the Traveler. What? What did you say? I'm the top student in Haravatat, and I earned third place at the last Inter-Darshan debate. Don't look down on me. Damn, third place, so you lost twice? That wasn't my intention. <laughs> As your Haravatat senior, I just assumed that you possessed a greater aptitude for critical thinking. Look, based on what you already know, the purpose of my return and the reason they're here should be obvious. Is that so? Wait a moment. Let me think. Don't tell me the answer. <laughs> the sages search for you. Ooh. A blonde-haired traveler. Oh, no! Outside guests. Oh, no! He's like, you're breaking in! So, from the start, the sages weren't looking for you, but this traveler? And you were gone from the academia for so long because... You were finding him? Hey, shh. Yes, you've proven yourself as the top student in Haravatat. <laughs> I surmise you've arrived at the correct conclusion. As I expected. Please, forgive me. Damn. I wasn't thinking clearly just now. Thank you for getting me back on track. One hundred head. It's nothing. We'll be on our way then. All right. Thank you for your contributions to the academia, scribe. Damn. Gaslight complete. Yo, speech 100 for all hate them. Goddamn. Uh, what the heck just happened now? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know either. Damn, I just let him, like, gas himself up. You have no idea? Mm-hmm. He convinced himself <laughs> of whatever truth he came up with. That's actually ridiculous. That is the so-called pride of a scholar. Yeah. If someone questions their academic facility, they will instantly feign understanding to keep up appearances. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, the academia is rampant with this type of scholar. Their obvious farces of intellect only serve to highlight themselves as fools. Yo, Dane was right after all, man. We gotta reform this place. Wow. So there are special ways to deal with smart people. Mm hmm We don't even need to make up our own excuses. <laughs> we shouldn't waste any more time. It would be problematic if we missed our window of opportunity. Let's go. Paimon's face during that moment was just so, like, humorous. All right, let's get it. Is this the Academia's library? Yeah. We only came here at the very beginning when I was exploring and I found like the extra books that were here. Indeed. Known as the House of Dana, it is quite possibly the most extensive special collections library in Tavat. Uh, there are a lot of students going through here. Is it really okay just to waltz right in? The Academia marches to a fast beat, especially since it's Nyagarbaha Day. Yeah. They're all occupied with their own matters. They're not even going to notice us. Just act natural. Now, hurry along. I must find my knowledge. All right, hide for now and wait for an opportunity. Nothing to see here, guards. Just going about my business. Oh, it's just Aether. Okay. What's this platform for? It's a lift that academia personnel use to access higher floors. Yeah, and we can't get up there yet. Are we going to take it then? The Grand Sage's office is up there somewhere. I remember mentioning that. There was like an elevator at the base of that. And I was like, oh, I'm pretty sure that's where we're going to go later in the Ark Conquest. No, not right now. We can't guarantee that we won't run into the Great Sage. Mm. Let's step back and observe for now. Okay, let's scheme. Okay. You think the Grand Sage will exit from there? And after he does, we'd sneak past him? Oh, Paimon thinks that's really dangerous. I wonder what everybody else is doing. Like Sino and Dia and Nilu. Who knows? However, if we can confirm Azar's current location, our operation will be much safer if we... Oh. Allow me to <gasps> offer you a hint. Oh. If you wish to know his location, look behind you. 
What the hell? We didn't watch our backs? What the fuck? Please tell me we actually like reverse jabated him and we did this on purpose. Ah, you're, you're, what's Grand Saint Jazar doing here? Damn, this guy looks like he's ready for bed. God damn it! Hmm. Do not tell me you believed the academia would not grow suspicious of you after such a prolonged absence, scribe. An eyewitness had informed me of your whereabouts, so I came to personally welcome you. But we know where his location is, so he's distracted right now. Great Sage, I didn't expect you to care so much about me. I'm truly flattered. I'm sure. But compared to you, I am far more interested in these two unexpected <laughs> guests. You are the Traveler and Paimon, correct? It's a pity that only now have I been afforded the opportunity to formally meet two of Sumeru's most esteemed guests. I do apologize for my lack of decorum. Technically, he's right, because the version of him that we saw in the uh, Samsara wasn't... It was like a dream version of him. All right, let's talk. The foot traffic here renders this place unsuitable for discussion. Please, follow me to my office. After you. Hey, we, we did it, chat. All according to plan. We just got caught. <laughs> I think. Uh-oh. This place is crawling with guards. There's no way out for us. But that means there's no way out for them, too. <laughs> All right, then, Traveler. What did you wish to discuss with me? And then we just freaking beat the living shit out of everybody here. <laughs> Today is Neagarbaha Day, mm. so I still have many responsibilities to attend to. There is little time for idle chit chat before I detain you all. What the hell's that giant thing in the background, like behind us? The Fatui are not to be trusted. The Fatui have ulterior motives. They probably know that, though. They're like, I don't care. We get what we want. Hmm. You seem to know quite a bit about our endeavors. If that is so, then you should be praising our great work rather than using your trivial misgivings in a futile attempt to sway me. Trivial? Then tell me. What do the Fatui want from me? A Gnosis. The Gnosis that powers your entire Akasha system. And without it, y'all go back to freaking cavemen. <laughs> worthless. Those are all completely worthless. Benefits. Divine power. These materialistic words do nothing but debase our great work. But that's what's powering your great work? Creating a god. Yes, we are using human wisdom to create a god. Do you see the problem here? Humans are flawed. If humanity cannot attain omniscience and omnipotence, then we shall create a god to reveal them. This is the pinnacle of human wisdom. You care about wisdom a little too much, my guy. We shall regain a god's guidance at long last. No longer will we flounder in the interminable void of consciousness and knowledge. Mm -mm. Even Ermin's soul will be freed from its plight. Nah, chief. For our nation of scholars, this is the ultimate aspiration. No cost is too great to realize it. You say it's the pinnacle of human wisdom, but in the end you're saying- Exactly! He's like, finally, we'll have a guy, the guidance of a god again. And I'm like, uh, what's the point of your human wisdom if you're relying on a higher power? You will never understand the rapture of having a god be born within your very hands. With your degree of knowledge, you cannot even comprehend such an emotion. What about Lesser Lord Kusanali? Gods exist on a plane that far eclipses humanities. Lesser Lord Kusanali, what can she even do? With enough time, everything. Care for the people? Fend off sandstorms? Fabricate silly fairy tales? Mm -mm. <laughs> These are but child's play for the academia. Does that make us equal to the gods? I really hope we take him down. <laughs> I wonder what the hell is going to happen to him. Maybe prison or like, I can't see him dying though. We are a people favored by greater lord Rukadavata. Though I may have personally not seen it, our forefathers bore witness to true wisdom. Yeah, see, that's the thing too. None of these motherfuckers have lived to see greater lord Rukadavata's like wisdom and guidance and power. They're just like chasing a dream. The ascension of the Lesser Lord has brought nothing but bewilderment to the scholars. They all ask, is that truly what true wisdom is supposed to look like? It's not very wise of you to think that way. With that in mind, it is better to keep her isolated in the sanctuary of Suristhana, so our academy will not become embroiled in turmoil. What a pathetic justification! 
education. Do you really think that only the super smart or powerful should be able to call themselves gods? Talk to him, Paimon! Yo, Paimon's sticking it to him. I don't know what to say or do. The arrogance of the scholars. As per your judgment, Grand Sage, they are indeed dangerous individuals. Yeah, the Fatui, like, you don't fuck with them. Your spooky music? Not only are they acting against the academia, but their ideologies have the potential to lead scholars astray. Looks like there really was merit in my assignment. Yeah, the Dotori's out here, bro. Oh, Haytham? Are you talking about us? Oh! Anyway, I've brought them to the academia as ordered, <clears throat> but it took some time and trouble. Oh, he's basically like, I've brought them to you because I still believe in you or whatever. Oh, that reminds me. Here's the investigation report you had requested. Nice joke over there, buddy. I know you didn't turn us in. This is all a part of the plan, right? It's a summary of my time spent with the trap. Right! An array of information about him ready for your perusal. Come on. There's no way, bro. I hate them. So you're... You're still on the academia side! I don't believe it. Excellent. Detailed contents with no errors. I would expect nothing less than an immaculate report from the scribe. Those could be doctored. He, he did say he tinkered around with some stuff. As it is near Garba Day, I'll enter the information on you into the Akasha. Surely you know what that means. We'll be monitored, just like Sino. Damn. With the Akasha's calculation prowess, all of your actions will be predicted with an accuracy of at least 98%. Holy shit. Furthermore, your data will be updated in real time whenever new information presents itself. Yo, that's like a crazy ass AI. In any case, you are Sumeru's most concerning external variable. Locking you down will greatly decrease the chance of any undesirable outcomes coming to pass. I love that line. In any case, you are Sumeru's most concerning external variable. I like that line because it reminds me of what A said to us in Inazuma. She was like, oh, you're able to use elemental energy without a vision. You are an exception. An exception is an enemy of eternity. That's what it reminds me of, at least. You're despicable. Despicable? Hmm. Perhaps from your perspective, but uh, damn. I suppose you had mentally prepared yourselves for this, no? What do you mean? Your ploy was to sacrifice the traveler here, was it not? Uh, excuse me? Uh, uh what? What do you mean, sacrifice? Lord Azar, I know what you're trying to say, but I've been following your plan this entire time. Why are you doubting me at this juncture? Huh. <laughs> Must I delineate your entire plan? Very well, mm. I will spell things out. First off, I received an eyewitness report that you were spotted with the traveler at Caravan Reba. Jesus, man. However, you immediately departed for the desert and escaped surveillance range. Judging by the time, you all likely encountered the truant General Mahamatra in the desert. Mm. Am I correct? Yo, this man's got eyes everywhere. The Academia had not received correspondence from its scribe for a prolonged time. You were also in the company of the Traveler, a close associate of Lesser Lord Kusanali and General Mahamatra Sino, who had defected from the Academia. So you're looking pretty sus, my dude. If I'm correct, you have a contingency plan to save Lesser Lord Kusanali and ruin our great work. I hate how smart this guy is. Sneak into the Academia on Nia Garbaha Day using Alhatham's status as the scribe. For there is a good chance that an opportunity to save the Lesser Lord will arise. He's not wrong. <laughs> but like, I feel like Alhatham's smarter. Should your intentions be discovered, Alhatham will turn traitor and sacrifice the Traveler, thus proving his innocence. He can then stay inside the Academia and continue searching for a way to proceed forward. As for Sino, God damn. according to the Akasha's calculations, he will soon return to the Academia Stop spoiling and confront me! me in person. Stop spoiling! I suppose this is also a part of your plan. I don't know about the... This man's actually just spoiling me right now. It's like, oh, okay, so Sino's coming back. <laughs> God damn it. You'll see me as a traitor regardless of what I say. No, even if you impugn me, it would have little effect on you all. You misunderstand. Losing our scribe would irreparably damage the Academia's regular operations and the development of Sumeru's future academic systems. Guess they gotta replace you. However, under the current circumstances, 
Even that is trivial compared to what we stand to gain from our great work. You said that I betrayed the Academia, but you, Azar, you've betrayed all of Sumeru, betrayed its Archon. That is true, my dude. <laughs> so flight is turned to fight at long last. Guards! I don't know, man. You guys didn't see what he did to the freaking Ain al Akmar people. This is so simple, bro. This is going to be easy. Oh! It's a cutscene. Oh, shit. Let's go. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? What the hell? Wait, what? Is he corrupted with the... The, def the red knowledge capsule. Well, what do we have here? <gasps> so you stole that divine knowledge capsule. Yeah, that's the, that's the same one. You traitor. <laughs> Even the most rational scholar will yearn for the power Holy of a god fuck. in a moment of desperation. Aren't Why you did doing you do the that? exact same thing as me, all Haytham? <laughs> Unfortunately for you, no god will lend you their power. Is he? Azar! <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? That guard literally saved that man's life. Aether, help him! Insane. Oh, come on, dude. Bruh. Ah, uh, well. Take him to the Matra. Please then tell me this is a part of the plan. <laughs> then find someone to take these two to the confinement room. Oh, what the fuck? He's I'll been... deal with them later. He's been exiled. Grand Sage, we've finished all required preparations for Nyagarbaha Day. We may begin to enter the capsules now. It's the guy. Excellent. You may begin. Oh, dear. All right, I'll hate them. <laughs> I fucking knew it! I was like, bro, there's no way. This has to be a part of the plan. Yo, this is actually a pretty cool plan. Now it's Nilu's turn. God damn! Wait, so was he just acting? What the hell? This man was just fucking putting on an act. Ah, don't like this app! Let us out! I'm like, Paimon, why are you screaming, dude? Ah! Can you stop doing that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paimon got a bit carried away there. Damn. How was Paimon's acting just now? Great, huh? Marvelous. Oh, wait. <laughs> Everything's going according to plan so far. Wait. We made it into confinement, and all Haytham's... Wait, that whole thing was a plan? Even on us? What the fuck? I actually thought they didn't know. All right, you know what? I'm just going to go with everything. Apparently, everything is a going according to plan. No one is actually surprised. No one is actually shocked. I'm the one that doesn't know what's happening. Me, the player. That's actually pretty cool. I was not expecting that. We even managed to trick Grand Sage Azar. I'll hate them. Sure knows how to cook up a plan. I thought I'll hate them was doing his own thing. And like he had to deceive us in order to follow through with it. But what the fuck, man? What are we doing next? Paimon has trouble remembering things when she's worked up. Hey, at least now they're reiterating information that the player doesn't already know, which is the opposite of what usually happens. They tell us things and then Paimon re-explains it. So this is actually really good. All right, let's review. Bruh! Apart from that, we still have yet another goal in the wow. first stage of our operation. This is really good. Which is to send the traveler to the confinement room. With Klee? We're going to relate to Klee now. We're, in the, we're on our own confinement room. What? Why do we want to get him locked up on purpose? He's always been the person the sages are most afraid of, as well as the greatest obstacle to their successful implementation of their plan. God damn. They are very aware of the risk he poses to them. Once the traveler is imprisoned, the sages will likely think that everything is under control. And that's when we strike, when we hit him with the two-piece. And with their guard down, the next phase of our plan will have a much higher chance of success. Good shit. Oh, that's a super tricky plan, but Paimon still thinks it's not really worth it. What do you know, Paimon? That isn't the only reason, of course. He has a more important task once he's in confinement. According to the Academia scholars in Raman's custody, Lesser Lord Kusanali has sealed off her consciousness in the Akasha ever since she was captured by the Doctor. Oh, that's why she hasn't been communicating. That way, they can't pry any more information from her. Okay. Even if we break into the Sanctuary of Suristhana, it will take time to awaken Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness. We need to do that in advance. Alright. So our job is Hello. to wake 
Make again. Make a fajita! Okay, totally worth getting thrown in jail for. <laughs> the confinement room is inside the academia, close to the sanctuary of Suristhana. Yeah. It's a completely enclosed space, and you won't be receiving any visitors. I'll work with Raman scholars to make some modifications to your Akasha Ah, uh, that's what he meant. Once you're in, get as close as you can to Lesser Lord Kusanali Whoa! and try to connect to her consciousness. However, as for whether she'll actually wake up, that will depend on our luck. Mm. Hello again. <clears throat> oh, no wonder you've been wearing your Akasha Oh! I don't know if it showed it in the cutscene. Karma thought they'd take our Akasha terminals when they'd like us up in here. Hmm. Hmm. Were they being careless? Nah, they probably need it on to monitor us, maybe. They think the Akasha is completely under their control. Exactly. So they probably want us to keep it on so they can okay. monitor. So what now? We have to find the place with the best signal in this room, then try to connect with Nahida. Sounds easy enough. We can finally talk with Nahida after all this time. I know. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, this is a pretty simple looking room, I guess. Oh, investigate. Are here? Nope. Hmm. No signal again. Is it getting jammed? Maybe we got to get like super high up. Like, you know like how you take your cell phone and you like put it up as high as you can for whatever reason. We got to get those 5G bars. Maybe we have to do it near the tree. Yeah, tree dendro. Oh. Uh, eh? what the is fuck? The right spot? What the Are hell? That's the Wi-Fi router. It's faint, but I have a signal. Preparing to connect with her consciousness now. Uh, please work. I was going to say, because this is like the divine tree, right? This tree that's built around the city. So it makes sense that it would connect to her. Oh, shit. Oh. Where the hell am I? I'm in the darkness. Is this a realm of consciousness? Oh, there she is. Nahida's not moving. She really has sealed off her consciousness. I need to think of a way to wake her up. Oh, shit, dude. I literally look, I feel like I'm in the abyss. Oh. What is this? It Hello, looks like Grandma. some sort of barrier. Is Nahida using this barrier? Oh, my God. This is her, like, Ararakalari barrier ability from, like, what the R and R use. Is Nahida using this barrier to isolate her consciousness from the outside world? Nahida. Oh. Yo, they paid Zack! <laughs> Finally! Jesus! Oh my god, is he actually gonna talk now? Hey, Nahida! Alright, this is a little weird. What the hell? Dang it, she isn't reacting. Seems like she can't sense me. Use more words, Zack! Oh, oh, you tried, I guess. When did it first start? Whoa. Oh, right. <gasps> it started from the moment I was born. Oh no. I want to become a worthy Archon. Aww. So I've kept studying. Kept listening to my people and their hearts. Don't cry, we're here! Kept looking for a way to save Ermin's soul. So I can catch <sighs> up. Catch up to Greater Lord Rukutavata. You are her. But I'm stuck in the sanctuary of Surastana. The sages are creating a god to replace me. Yo, let's burn this place to the ground. Let's burn the sages. I changed my mind. Screw the plan. I'm going rogue. And I'm forced to lock my consciousness in Hello this again. boundless darkness. Nahida! Come on, dude. Earn that paycheck, Zach. God damn it. What now? Is it really nothing I can do? But she's right there in front of me. I just can't give up like this. I've already... Oh my god. Oh my god, these cutscenes! I have already left her behind once when the doctor first appeared. I can't do that again. Oh my god, Dotore. This art looks so sick. Nikita! Yo! Let's go, Aether! What the hell? Are you using Animo? Even though you're Dendro? It's about time you're using multiple elements again. Windblade! It's so quiet here. Uh-oh. Now that I think of it. I don't think I've ever actually listened to my own inner voice. Do Archons have them? Should Archons have them? <sighs> have I been doing the right thing? She's so helpless. Am I really not needed? How do I really feel about all of this? Oh, and they're getting you with the music, bro. You can't be doing this whole universe. Uh. It's so quiet here. 
Yeah, because Aether won't speak up. Since you're the god of wisdom. Wait, what? You've known the answers to all these questions since the very beginning. Wait, what? Haven't you? Is this Ruka Nevada? Who are you? Whose voice is that? It sounds familiar. Did we just hear Greater Lord Ruka Nevada's voice? You're right, though. I won't... I won't ignore my own voice anymore. Persona! This is like a Persona moment, bro. Come on, Aether! Oh, you're doing it, Nahida! Yo! Holy shit! He's goaded! Uh, uh, Nahida? Holy shit, dude, are they paying Zack to say anything but Nahida's name? Did you wake me up? <sighs> Thank you. Why are you here? Please say something. We're here to rescue you. Are you alright? <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm fine. It's just when I think of everything that's happened to me, I feel really angry now. Oh, shit. Yo, let's burn this bitch to the ground. I'm here with you. <laughs> you should have been angry ages ago. This is so weird that he's actually speaking words. Hello, Paimon. Oh, you're back. How's everything? We did good. Nahida's awake. Great! We weren't locked up for nothing! Alright, good shit. Now we gotta bust her out of the freaking prison. You were out for a long time. There are fewer and fewer scholars going about now. <laughs> you think everyone's done with their Nyo Garba day stuff? I guess they finish entering all of the knowledge capsules. Yep! So that means our next act is... Nilu's performance! Alright, next phase. Nilu, are you sure about this? Mm. You're taking such a great risk for them. Ooh, Mr. Zubair. I'm sure, and I'm going. You know that I don't like to pass up any opportunity to dance. Oh! And this one is especially important. Yeah, these stages are about to get served. <sighs> All right. You seem to have a lot of trust in them, so I won't say more on the subject. Nilo, you're about to pop off. Ooh, they're letting us play as her? Oh my god, that's actually kind of cool. Open the map. Oh, why is the map naked? There's no waypoints, no teleporters, no, like, labels of everything. Oh, my God. This is actually kind of cool, though. Like, just for, like, a natural map. I'm not dreaming, am I? I'm not back in the freaking Samsara, am I? Oh, only the Traveler can teleport. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a little weird. Completely forgot to showcase this at the top of the stream, but we did actually get Nahida to Friendship 10 today. So I'm actually going to redeem this right now before I forget any further. There you go. Nahida Crescent. The rising moon admires the sun because her light can shine all over the earth. On the other hand, the setting sun is envious of the moon for she can be accompanied by the sweetest of dreams. Nice. Nilu, how's it going? Nervous? Oh, it's that guy. He told us to touch grass. Or oh, he told the academia to touch grass, not books. Definitely more than usual. What a goat. But it's because I'm worried I won't dance well enough. It's okay. Just focus on your performance. We'll take care of everything else. <laughs> <laughs> you sure know how to talk. Taking all the credit, even though we came here together to help out. Okay, these two. Well, thank you both. I'll have to treat you to a meal after all this ends. Let's go! I really, really appreciate all of your help. Hopefully you'll treat me to a meal as well. I'd love to spend time with you, Nilu. Please notice me. Damn, I'm jealous. All right. Let's get back to business. Nilu, we'll be here to keep people from going to the academia so they don't interrupt your performance. Oh, damn, they're her own bodyguards. I was planning on telling them something like, the academia's been conducting a weird experiment, <laughs> and some of their test subjects escaped. Jesus. It's really dangerous there, so stay away. Oh, you couldn't think of anything better? Oh, oh well, I guess it does sound like something the academia would do. Yeah, screw them. <laughs> I think it sounds great. I'm counting on you guys. Oh, this is my favorite Sumeru track, by the way. Don't worry. It'll be a piece of cake. Oh, shoot. It's the freaking Night of Flowers, too. Hey, Nilu. Sorry, it's great to see you, but I'm really busy right now. Our bait people away with Yalda Candy's plan is working beautifully. The stage is cleared and everything's ready, so you can start your performance at any time. Yeah, thanks to you. Nice. I'm really grateful. All right, 
Time to hit the stage. She's just gonna start dancing and getting everyone's attention. Oh. Okay. Yo, they're popping off with the cutscenes. Jesus. Everyone's getting one. Come on, Nilu, you got this girl. Oh. Oh my god. Wait, is she doing like her sub zeros dance? Oh my god. I can't keep my eyes off, chat. I'm hypnotized. God, she's so beautiful. Yeah, look at that. She's getting everyone's attention. I've never seen a performance like this. This is incredible. Okay. But I heard that public performances like these have been banned. I can't believe she's doing this here. Yo, what a rebel. Oh, the music rendition. Grand Sage, there's some commotion outside. Oh. Huh. How uninteresting. <laughs> Issue the new Prohibition Act from the Akasha to the guards. They'll know what to do. Damn, what a lazy fuck. Uh, do you think we should, like, stop her? <laughs> Let's just watch for a little bit longer. Hey, these guys know. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, that's cool! <sighs> Wait, are they drawing guards away from the shrine? <laughs> Holy moly, that's so sick! I noticed the text. It said Lesser Lord Kusana. Like, I was just trying to, like, I was looking at the other text. <laughs> nice. What did the text say at the bottom? I didn't see that. I was distracted by the Tavat text. Huh? Did you hear that? Oh, they'll explain it? it? Like okay, that's fine. Just ran by. Does this mean the plan has moved on to the next stage? Certainly sounds like it. Yep, yep. It's great that everything seems to be going well. Come to think of it, when did Alhatham replace the knowledge capsule that was about to be entered into the Akasha? When he pretended to have been corrupted, do you remember when he rushed towards the Grand Sage? Yeah, I think he like yoinked one off the table. Oh, so that's when he did it. Yeah. I'm almost too nervous wow, to Wow, that's so clever. Speaking of, didn't Alhatham also yoink the divine knowledge capsule <laughs> from that mercenary leader in Port <laughs> Ormos when everyone else was distracted? Wait, what? Did she really say yoink? Holy shit, that's actually kind of funny. That's like a gamer term. Yo, Paimon's a gamer. Let's go. <sighs> Let's review our plan for this stage again. It's not like we have anything else to do right now anyway, and it'll help us feel more confident. <sighs> All right. Paimon remembers that Nilu's task was supposed to go a bit like okay. this. Okay. Damn, we even got Nilu up to speed. Now that Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness has been forcefully sealed, the core figures of the Academia and their guards have started to wear their Akasha terminals again. Damn, everything took place at this table, bro. With the doctor's technological support, they think they have nothing to fear. Mm. How despicable of them to rely on such a person. Yep. But this is also our chance. I was originally asked to draft the knowledge capsule for the Artistic Performances Prohibition Act when oh. I was still at the Academia. Was that what he tinkered with? It should be on the Grand Sage's desk right now, and will be entered into the Akasha during the next Niagarbaha day. Oh, and that's why he took it. Oh, so he was like, oh, have them implement this, this act. But I think they implemented something else to do with Lesser Lord Kusanali. I'll make an identical knowledge capsule, but this time I'll smuggle some misleading information into Bro, it. Bro, what? I was a little distracted during that scene. In my head, I was like, this is Tavat text. I wonder what it translates to. And I didn't even see at the bottom that it was translated. But uh, yeah, I think it basically says something about Lesser Lord Kusanali. We only need to find an opportunity to switch the capsules. Yeah. Once it's been entered into the Akasha wow. on the day, if someone were to be seen performing in public, yeah. The sages would definitely use that opportunity to announce the ban. Yep. And so... The misleading information will be Holy disseminated shit. amongst the guards. Yo, we're spreading misinformation. <laughs> That's pretty clever. Nice. Getting right into their heads. Sheesh. I just have one question. Even if we manage to get the misleading info out to the guards, how can we be sure that they'll believe it? I mean, the Akasha is law in this place, it seems. 
People who are used to relying on the Akasha become less inquisitive. Exactly. And their ability to distinguish truth from misinformation is significantly reduced. Mm. They will view everything the Akasha releases to them as the unequivocal truth. The Akasha will turn humans into machines. Yeah. I've seen it happen many times. Fucking drones. Yikes. Good thing I didn't wear it for long when I was working in Sumeru City. Good for you. At first, I thought it was a good thing, too. By the way, this plan still requires a performer, right? The best of the best. Do you have someone in mind? Of course, the one and only. Nilu of Zubair Theater. I know her really well. We can trust her. All right. After the guards and the academia are gone, I actually like this style of uh, how they're unveiling the plans. Because, like, we see all of the actions, but there's so much, like, subtext to it. Like, I'll hate them charging at the desk. If I didn't have this explanation, I would have been like, oh, that was random. That just happened. But, like, after you get the context, it's like, oh, my God, this is actually a really cool plan. Then it'll be time for me and my stowaway brothers to shine. Yo, Dia's next. Let's go. Here they come. Did you see that, Raman? They came out from the academia in droves. Gee, yo, the freaking squad pulling up. Oh. After laying low in the city for so long, this is the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> My brothers have already sprung into action. Yo, just like one or two acts ago, this man was about to have Dia cut her arm off and now they're working together. <laughs> we couldn't do anything to him inside their coop, but outside the academia, this is our hunting ground. Hell yeah. With a lioness like you, the prey sure won't be able to run far. <laughs> Sheesh. Yo, some people might not want to run away from her if you catch my drift. We still need to eliminate the guards as soon as possible. If we give the sages enough time to realize what's happening, the plan's doomed. Yeah, all they've done is to sit on their cushy salaries and twiddle their thumbs all day while we fought and struggled every day in the desert. Damn straight. The only advantage they might have is their numbers. The trap has been set. All we need to do is lead them there. All right, let's see how this plays out. I'm excited. All right, let's each take a road and herd those scattered guards back into one place. Make sure to attract their attention. Isak will be the key. You gave such an important task to that child. Will he be okay? Oh my god, he's Yo, they even got the little kid involved? It'll be fine. God damn. Isak was so determined to help, so let's put our faith in him. Then... Let's head out. Uh, really quick, quick intermission. I'm probably gonna put this in the video too. Uh, my computer randomly just crashed out of nowhere for the first time. Like, the game crashed, my recording, OBS. I literally had to boot up my entire system again. And now Aether is stuck here. I don't know what it, what it's gonna do, but I'm just gonna... Oh, oh, it reviews the story. Oh! So if any point during that you had to stop, it won't make you redo all of that stuff again with like, I'll hate them, Nikita. Oh shit, so this is gonna give me... Here Easy clap, boys! Did you see that, Raman? Yo! Oh, yo, first, y'all are actually goaded for that. Right, I'm just gonna fast forward and get back so where we were. Skipping dialogue in my Genshin, not my streamer. I'm a big fan of the lore, by the way. I skip all the dialogue, I skip all the cutscenes, but the story's not that great anyway. Uh, mm. <laughs> this outfit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> These are, oh my god, dude, he's cosplaying as Nahida. Hey, do you remember what you need to do, Isak? When the guards get here, you'll pretend to be Lesser Lord Kusanali and run away from them. Bruh. This kid was like, this is not what I signed up for, by the way. Oh, yeah, I remember. Of course I do. I'm just a, a little nervous. Relax. Damn. Don't think about getting caught. Even if that happens, we won't leave you behind. I guess that's the best thing that could have happened for him. It's like, hey, you get to pretend to be a god. You only need to think about getting the guards' attention and leading them to the Grand Bazaar. Mm. Leave the rest to us. So we have to basically act like Nahida busted out of there. Okay, got it. I'm here to pay back Lesser Lord Kusanali for helping Grandpa. Mm. We won't get cold feet. So I think what that original message said was like Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped, apprehend her immediately, and then they're looking for her now. This is such a good plan. They thought about like literally everything. Hey, they're here. I can see the academia guard. All right, it's time, Isa. <laughs> Take a deep breath and go. You can do You can do it. 
Hey, hey, Nahida doesn't run that way, okay, buddy? You gotta put your arms out and just sprint for the life of you. Why is there a guard over there? Damn. Did he already run ahead of me? This is the four-star Nahida, by the way. Mm, this is different from our plan. Ooh. But there's no time. Oh, shit. I need to make a choice. Uh, hide in the field. Oh, shit. What the hell? Did I just see something dart by? <laughs> like, quick decision making. I'd better go have a look. I should go check to see if someone's hiding over there. All right, you should also stop, like, monologuing. Oh, shit! Stealthily move to the right! There seems to be nothing here. <laughs> uh, oh, my God! Leave least... the field! Get out of there! Oh, Hello good thing again. they didn't find me. I was close. Good job. I better hurry and keep going. Later, nerd. This kid's literally, like, finessing everybody. Hey! Lesser Lord Kusanali's over there! Stop! Oh, shit! Run! What? Lesser Lord Kusanali? How did I not see anything just now? Damn, you're about to lose your job. Oh no, they found me. Where should I go? Uh, towards the city gate. Yeah, get out of the city. How is this possible? Oh, fuck. There are also academia guards here. Oh, no. Should I have gone to the bazaar? Damn. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's try oh, this no. again. They found me. Where should I go? Let's go towards the bazaar. The target suspected to be Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped into the Grand Bazaar. Assemble and arrest her. Where did she go? How did she disappear? Did we lose her? Hurry up and find her. Hey, why is your team here? Didn't we say to split up our search? Y'all got debated. Hurry, hurry. Huh? This place is... Why are you all here? Did we just pull everyone here? Y'all look dumb. Yeah, isn't it one heck of a coincidence? Everybody's here. <laughs> what on earth is going on? The trap has been set, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Who are you? Did you set us up? What are you planning? <sighs> Phew, that was rough. I almost got caught. Jeez, man, this kid was a track star. Little brat. So you're not actually Lesser Lord Kusanali. Who exactly are you all? Eremites from the desert? Just some colleagues. Think of this as a business competition or a personal grudge. After stepping into our traps, stop thinking of yourselves as hunters. Behave like the prey you are. All right, boys. Let's give them what for. An ambush? How's that possible? This is Sumeru City, but mercenaries from the desert somehow ambushed us! You've spent all your time hiding away in the academia. This place has long since become our hunting ground. Brace yourselves! Yo, Dia, get him! Oh, shit. Oh! Hmm. He's like, where is everybody? This is odd. It's quiet. Too quiet. The academia has quieted down after the conclusion of the Neogarbaha Day ceremonies. Yep. But it's much quieter than usual. Where are the guards? Uh-oh. Why have I not seen a single one? <laughs> guards? Guards! Oh, look at that. You're all alone. It'd be a shame if someone ran up on you. <laughs> Grand Sage. Oh. How may I be of assistance? Oh, wait. Is this guy in on it, too? I called for the guards. <clears throat> Why did you come? All right. I guess I'll go fuck myself. Uh my, my apologies, Grand Sage. Right now, all Academia guards have entered the city to perform the ordered arrest. I thought you knew. Arrest? Who is there to arrest? Lesser Lord Kusanali, she got away. Uh, arrest Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Is that not what the order was? <clears throat> Lesser Lord Kusanali? You mean she has disappeared? Uh-oh. Uh, yes. I wouldn't dare make up something like that. Damn. Right now, everyone is in a panic, and many are saying that... that lesser Lord Kusanali will take revenge on us. What happened? Just what is going on? Lesser Lord Kusanali somehow escaped? Was it Alhatham and his party that freed her? That's impossible. Hmm. The academia is heavily guarded today, and any order to release lesser Lord Kusanali would be strictly confidential. Besides, <laughs> Alhatham and the Traveler are already in our hands. Exactly. What manner of trickery did they employ? How could Lesser Lord Kusanali disappear into thin air? Well, well this guy's just in deep thought while this guy's like, uh, sir, what do we do? Disappear? Wait. Uh-oh. How was the arrest order distributed to the guards? Through the Akasha? It was issued by the Akasha earlier today. 
Only you have the authority to send messages like that, <laughs> Got so I thought it was your order. Let me check. Ah, here. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the Sanctuary of Surasthana. Go to the city and arrest the escapee immediately. Yeah, so that was the text that I saw at the bottom. I saw from like the corner of my eye, it said something about Lesser Lord Kusanali. I was smitten over Nilu, so I wasn't paying attention. Have you been to the Sanctuary of Surasthana to confirm that Lesser Lord Kusanali has indeed escaped? Does anyone else have access to that room? Confirm? N no, I, I haven't. It, it may be a bit offensive to say this, but Grand Sage, what you're saying doesn't make any sense. Yeah, because it would imply that the Akasha has been tampered with. How can the information in the Akasha be inaccurate? Yeah. What the Akasha decrees is fact. <laughs> that is common knowledge to all of us. Damn. If we have to confirm the information and knowledge from the Akasha ourselves, then that means it's fucked up. Then how is that any different from us learning that information ourselves? Wouldn't Greater Lord Rukadavata's legacy lose its meaning that way? Damn, this man's roasting you. This guy's getting cooked. In the beginning, it was I who asked you to believe in the Akasha, to believe in the legacy left by Greater Lord Rukadavata. Are you trying to use my words against me? Yes. Yes, I am. N no, Grand Sage. Oh, this guy's a pussy. I'm merely confused because I believe in you. I never meant to refute you. Stay here and see if there are any suspicious people around. I'll go to the sanctuary of Surasthana on my own. All right, and I feel like someone's gonna be there. Or so, like, he's gonna go in, and then because he's entering the shrine, it's gonna give him... Oh, never mind, he entered alone. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the sanctuary of Surasthana. Go to the city and arrest the escapee immediately. <sighs> How can that be? Stop thinking about it. Uh-oh. This guy's... It must be a trick of theirs. <laughs> as long as I personally confirm it. This man's literally cracking under the pressure. Yo! Do you hear this music? Oh my god. Yeah, this was the music that was playing during the cutscene of King Deshret. Like when the forbidden knowledge like seeped into the world. I'm actually really happy they reused it. Ah! Ah! Oh shit! Impossible. Impos That's impossible. There must be something wrong with my eyes. Imagine being so like warped from reality that you're like, uh, clearly my eyes are wrong. Oh, what the hell? Wait, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> she was there, and then she wasn't, and then she was. What a comical sight is our. All right, I'm going to say a prayer for this guy real quick. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been nice knowing you, my dude. <laughs> Sino's about to eat this man alive. <gasps> Once the Akasha has put certain thoughts into your head, even the Grand Sage can no longer see what's right in front of him. I blame the monocle. The monocle got him. You all can only see the world in your mind. The one you think you know. Damn, Sino's like, I'm here to bestow upon you judgment. <laughs> and precisely because of this, you disregarded Lesser Lord Kusanali's existence. I love how everyone's getting a moment. Like, Dia just got a moment, and now Sino's getting a moment. And then it's going to come back to us in Nahida. She has been a wise and worthy Archon. Yeah. Sino, have you been waiting for a chance like this? Hell, I have. I'm not going to lie. I'll say it. I've been waiting for this moment. The Akasha predicted that you would return to the Academia to confront me. But I didn't expect it to turn out like this. Sheesh. I was careless. No, you were blinded. Your faults stem from your reliance on the Akasha. You're still the same as always. I truly did not expect a proud person like you to cooperate with all Haytham and the Traveler. Ah, uh, well, people change. People change, Azar. <laughs> Admit it. The Akasha can't predict my Wait. actions anymore. <laughs> Ghost Rider, by the way. <laughs> I mean, that's obvious. Of course he changed. What the fuck? All right. Yeah, yeah. I wrote this scene, guys. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. <laughs> then tell me. What have you found during your investigation? You want to buy time? This is the Sanctuary of Surasthana. Under your own regulations, even Academia staff are forbidden to come here. No one will come to save you. Oh shit, you will die here. <laughs> As for the investigation, Sheesh. 
I've at least confirmed that you are guilty of insurgency against the Archon. A serious crime. So what? Did you do all of this so I would plead guilty in front of you, General Mahamatra? No. I want you to plead guilty in front of the Archon herself. Hell yeah, dude. Like, hey, don't apologize to me. Say it to her. You once said that I had no standing to judge you. So now, Ooh. how about oh. judgment in the name of a god? What a fucking badass, dude. What a fucking badass. <laughs> the music that was playing in there was his funeral song, by the way. <laughs> how long do we have to wait? Paimon wants to know how things are going out I there. can't believe everything's happening without us, by the way. Main character, by the way. I saved the world, like, five times already. <sighs> Thinking about it, at least Paimon has you. We could still chat like this. When Paimon thinks of Nahida being imprisoned alone in the sanctuary of Suristhana, Paimon can't help but feel sorry for her. Hmm. Oh, look at that. We're free. Yo. Here comes your savior. Oh, thank God. My savior's beautiful. Yeah. Paimon just knew you would come to rescue us. You were scared out of your witch just a moment ago. Pa I, I love how Paimon like just literally was like, we're going to die here. They're going to forget us. We're going to be locked here forever. And then she's like, oh, cool. We're free. You two really owe me some big thanks. I had to search through who knows how many guards to find the key here. Jesus. It felt even more tiring than whacking them. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Need Paimon to rub your shoulders? Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, no, no, that's, uh, <laughs> I'll pass. What a weird offer. Things in the city and on Sino's side are both going well. The guards that stormed out of the academia are all taken care of. The Corps of 30 is in charge of the city's defenses. But we already talked to Asfand. They've been fed up with the sages bossing them around. We're actually overthrowing the government. As long as it doesn't break their employment contracts, they'll turn a blind eye. That's probably because you've been super great friends with them for a long time. Yeah. So, how's Sino doing? Uh, he's getting his hands dirty right now. The Grand Sage is in his custody. Even I know how terrible it is to fall into Sino's hands, <laughs> so he probably does too. I wonder what they're gonna do to the Grand Sage and like any like higher ups that allowed this to happen. Sino forced him to release Lesser Lord Kusanali. He has no choice but to Yo, obey. No, Nahida's free. So hurry to the sanctuary of Suristhana. Nice. Assuming nothing weird happened. Okay. We should have already rescued our Archon. Also, we still have Scaramouche to deal with. I feel like, I'm like, oh, we did it, chat. We finished the Archon. Like, there's so much more shit. There's Scaramouche. There's the fucking Erminsel tree situation. Like, we're still not out of the woods yet. Nahida, we're here! Finally, I can freaking go into this room. Oh, God, is it the scary music still? Or are they going to change it? It'd be a little weird if it still was. La, 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 la. There she is! She's gonna touch grass for the first time. We did it. We did it, chat. We saved her. <laughs> they say it's my <laughs> savior. This is the first time we've met in real life. Yeah. Before, we've only met in dreams, me consciousness, friend. or Am when I really was in someone friend? else's body. I'm like so happy I could cry right now. We finally meet, Nahida. Thank you so much for coming to rescue me, but I also need to apologize. All right, the music is still present. During this time, I did some self-reflection. <sighs> My sense of inferiority and yielding to the academia led to all of this mm. and created so much trouble for you all. Don't worry about it. You've also helped us a lot. Exactly! We're here because you're a good Archon and one of our friends! Hell yeah. <laughs> Thanks, you two. We did it! <sighs> Amazing. So this is how it feels to walk out of that cage with my own body. That's crazy, bro. 500 years of stunted, like, development. She's about to freaking smell the fresh air and feel the grass between her toes and feel the warm embrace of the sun and the breeze of the wind. It's like I just had an endlessly long dream. I can't even tell if I just woke up or was only now born into this world. I know, right? She's actually living. <sighs> My concept of self has become so clear. But now doesn't seem to be the time to indulge in this Oh. Game. Yeah, okay, so we have to stop the god. I think we have to stop Scaramouche first, and then save Ermansoul. Um, this is really embarrassing. <laughs> you all just rescued an Archon, 
and now she needs your help to save her country. Yeah. And even the entire world. No pressure. Actually, you know what? This is a great trial by fire. You know, this is your first task as an Archon. It's okay. With you here, Paimon's sure that everything will work out. For all the things the Academia did to me, and for all the folly it committed in the name of wisdom. Oh, God. <laughs> as their Archon, oh God. I will make them pay. Damn. She's angry, chat. Wow. That's the spirit. You're finally standing up for yourself and not letting people walk all over you. We should exile them to Aru Village. <laughs> I understand now. To be a better Archon, I first need to better myself. If you haven't even figured out how to be a caterpillar, how can you be a butterfly? God, I love her analogies. This is knowledge that only you yourself can have discovered. Yes, true. Hmm, that reminds me. Hmm. I wonder how far along the Academia is with their god creation plan. We need to hurry and prevent the birth of that false god. Yeah, where is that, by the way? Is it in here? I need to make some preparations. Since I'm now free, I can establish a direct link to the Akasha and control it. God, that's so cool! She has full access of her system. First things first. I need to remove the restrictions that the doctor put on me in the Akasha. Dotori was really out here, bro. He put in his work and he's like, I'm gonna head home. After that, I'll make some adjustments and revoke the sage's permissions. The Akasha will then be like how it originally was. Yes! Only operable by the Ark. Yes! Finally! We're assuming control. Hackermans, I'm in. After all, oh my God. academia betrayed Greater Lord Rukadavata's trust. This place looks crazy. This might take some time. In the meantime, you should also work on your own preparations. If we don't stop the God creation plan in time, we'll be in for a tough fight. Have you seen that boss fight? Actually, that's another thing too. After this, I can finally do the Scaramouche weekly boss fight. Anthony has been doing it for me for the last two weeks so I can still get the boss materials. And I get to hear like the music and see how the full fight compares. So that'll be exciting. You might as well prepare for a fight. Okay, the longest oh day. We can take a walk around. After all, we missed out on a lot of stuff when we were locked up. Achievement, rescue a god. <laughs> so funny. I'm also going to equip the new Nahida name card. Dude, we saved her and friendship tend her on the same day. You love to see it. Wait, can I actually go in here even after the Archon quest? That's kind of cool. Can I listen to the music? Yo, I can actually <laughs> listen to the music here. Okay, you know what? Let's not reenact that. She only just got out of this thing. I love how the quest is like, all right, you want to get a move on? You got to save the world. So. Wait, what? How's it going, Nahida? Oh, wait. Did I accidentally trigger the sequence? Oh, damn. I didn't know I was supposed to do that. I'm done with the parts that needed my involvement to complete. Although it's my first time working with the Akasha like this, its internal structure and operation procedures are easy for me to understand. Hell yeah. Greater Lord Rukadavata's design is truly brilliant. Yeah, it's almost like you made it. Oh, also, this is for you. Oh, this is the little companion that was in the fight, the boss fight that they talked about. What the hell? This thing looks kind of weird. Like a morphed version of Patamon from Digimon. What's this little floaty thingy? What the heck? It's a small device I put together just now. Sheesh. You can think of it as an upgraded Akasha terminal. Oh, it's like a Digimon. You may not need it right now, but it should be helpful in certain situations. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's going to be the main way that we fight Scaramouche. Wait! This thing has the same characteristics as Paimon! New mascot! Get replaced, Paimon! Oh, all the things that make Paimon special got copied! When Paimon appears with the Traveler from now on, people won't remember Paimon because she isn't unique anymore! Oh, so you're saying you're unique? Where do you come from, by the way? What are you, anyways? <laughs> it's all right, Paimon. It can't replace you. It's only a flying device, but you're the Traveler's irreplaceable friend. Aw. <sighs> you're so good at comforting people, Nahida. If only the Traveler was as smart as you. Excuse me? By the way, there's something I need to confess. Even though I'm the Archon and in control of myself again, 
I'm not very good at fighting. That's actually good. Like, all these other Archons are, like, bloodthirsty fucking... Yo, I got a crazy Conria body count going on. I just haven't told anybody yet. And, like, Nahida's like, yeah, I don't like fighting. You may have heard that an Archon's power is derived from their people's faith. Mm -hmm. However, I'm not as well left as uh... Greater Lord Ruka Devata. That's why Venti's the strongest. Those motherfuckers are still worshiping the animal Archon. If we get into a situation where combat is our only option, I'll have to count on you and I'll do my best to provide support. Yo, fighting is my forte. I've located where the false god is. Time is of the essence. Oh shit. So let's skip to it. All right, Scaramouche, we're coming for you, buddy. All right, mama's here. Time to discipline my child because he's been a very bad boy. Riding Shogun's going to spank Scaramouche so hard that he's going to become Animo. <laughs> All right, Deus Foundry, level 90, creating a god. Yes, we are using human wisdom to create a god. What is this place? Is this really the way we need to go? Wow. Who would have thought there'd be a place like this hidden right slap bang in the middle of the city? The sages wanted to realize their god creation plan without being discovered. Mm. The safest and most convenient way would be to build within the academia itself. Hmm, that's true. They were already hiding one god, so why not two? Yeah. Judging from the structure here, the project is a huge undertaking. Mm. The sages really saw the god creation plan as their ultimate goal. But this place doesn't look like it could have been constructed by the Academia alone. Mm. Oh, the Doctor, maybe. The Fatui under the Doctor sure didn't hold back. Yep, yep. They provided a lot of technological support. This place, because, like, just looking at it, it reminds me of the Ruin Guard lab in Liyue. And Child mentioned that that was basically Dotori's lab. And it kind of looks the same. It's to help one of their own Harbingers become a god, after all. Yeah, or else they wouldn't have been that generous. Is that it, though? I've always felt that this doctor is different from the Academia Sages. Mm. He doesn't seem to share their sense of urgency. Yeah, actually built different. Instead of being interested in the end product, it's like he's enjoying the experimental process. Hmm. The Fatui Harbingers are all such weirdos. <laughs> so, the doctor being weird is actually normal. Yeah. So... This Fatui that they're trying to turn into a god is called the Balladeer? Yep, the product of the Electro Archon. We had previously come into contact with his consciousness. He harbors particularly strong obsessions. One is the desire for a gnosis, since he was created to be the vessel for one. Yeah, but then things didn't work out. He was too gentle a soul, and look at it. Look at this. He's way too overly invested in his mom and, like, abandonment issues and just, like, human emotions. Like, this is exactly why A thought it was best to just let him live a normal life. The other obsession is probably related to his past. Mm -hmm. I can't quite explain it. Paimon knows that he was a prototype puppet for the Raiden Shogun before he became a Fatui Harbinger. That's why he wants a Gnosis so badly. There's no way he'd willingly be a test subject. <laughs> now with that temper and ego of his... <laughs> Another test subject. It sounds like you know the Balladeer quite well. Yeah, we've had a few encounters. I see. Tell me more about him and what he's like. The more we know now, the better we can plan for and react to any future situation. All right, so he's a puppet, he's Electro, and apparently he can do the Fandango. Ah, I see. How fascinating. All right, time to go. <laughs> Let's get through here and meet him in person. She's like, the Fandango, fascinating. All right, go through the passage and reach the bell. What do you think he's going to say when he just sees his mom and sister? Oh, shit. Here we go again. Everyone hold hands. <laughs> hold hands, you two. Scatter. Time to oblivion. I'm here for my child. Step aside, you peons. <laughs> oh. All right. Anyways, let's pretend that didn't happen, chat. Riding Shogun's here to discipline her child and anyone who gets it in her like way. We can climb up these pipes. You ruined my freaking vibe, Hoyoverse. I hope you're happy. Oh. Oh, shit. 
Oh, okay. This is an explorable domain before we fight him. Okay. I see that guy up there. So I'm like, you know what? This is simple enough. Hello again. The pattern on the ground seems all messed up. Let's go around and see if there's a way to fix it. Mm. Think you can pull it? Huh. There is no escape. This nice. You damn straight this isn't good. My kid's acting a fool. Oh, oh, that's cool. I like that. All right, so we have to line up all of the platforms at the bottom. Oh, damn. I see everything. Scratch that. Shake it and propagate. Oh, okay. I'll take that. I need to get this chest over here. I should have brought Kazuha, man. Hold on. Can I make that jump from here? Please. Please be climbable. Please be a climbable. No! Kazuha just makes things so much easier. All right, that's three. Another door opened. Mm, the cart is stuck. Maybe there's something wrong with the tracks. Let's try adjusting the direction of the door. Rotate. Device to clear there the we go. Hey, get over here. I hate this place. Ha! All right, let's try that again. Third time's a charm. If I miss this again, I'm literally gonna scream. Please work for me. Okay, thank God. Thank you. Is that gonna take me all the way over there? Oh, thank you. Oh my God, you're kidding me. You're kidding me! Bruh, are you serious? No, I can't, I can't get it. Let's go! That was actually kind of badass. Illusion shot. Holy shit, I actually saved myself. Oh my god. Everyone hold hands. Later, buddy. Oh, uh, god damn it. Let's get the hell out of here. Inazuma shines eternal. Let's go. Shine down. Sheesh. Mother knows best, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and this is the last one. All right, cool, cool, cool. Hey, that should be everything. Uh-oh, I just jumped over the edge. I feel like that's gonna kill her. I think I'm dead, chat. <laughs> I think she's dead. Oh my God. Sheesh. A almost met her maker before she met with her son. All right, we have arrived. Looking at its operational status, we must prepare for the worst. The god they wanted to create is likely close to completion or already completed. It's not a surprise. I've already seen him control the weather. I feel not just nervous, but curious as well. Curious? Curious about what? <laughs> How it'll go. Curious about her fate. Yeah. Are we going to live? Are we going to die? What's going to happen? To me, everything we perceive in this world, everything we learn, and everything that happens to us is considered knowledge. True. And if it's a form of knowledge, then it can be understood. Oh, damn. We're going to get through to Scaramouche. We just have to understand him. <laughs> However, only fate is about that which has yet to occur. So it has always drawn my curiosity. I see. So to me, fate is the ultimate knowledge. The loom of fate. That's also why I love observing humans and all the things that happen to them. It all brings me great satisfaction. Hmm. And now, at long last, I'm not just an observer anymore. Yeah, you're in the driver's seat. I will personally experience my own fate with you by my side. <laughs> Isn't this such a wonderfully exciting thing? Ah, hmm. so that's what you mean. Paimon thinks she understands what you're feeling. I'm also looking forward to it. We won't lose. Agreed. Okay, let's continue on. I can sense his aura from here. His? Scaramouche is going to be like, what are you doing here, mom? It's not a phase, mom. Get out of my room. <laughs> oh, my God. They're popping up with the cutscenes, bro. Holy shit. Oh, look at him. Holy fuck. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Mm. No thanks. My wisdom's all I need. Who would have thought the world would be so eager for my birth? Jesus. I remember you, Boer, the god of wisdom. Boer! I'm standing beside you, 
The Traveler. Is heal knowing and powerful now like Greater Lord Ruka Devada? That's her demon name, right? I can't feel the same kind of divinity I felt from the Greater Lord. It seems that the sages didn't get the chance to infuse the divine knowledge capsules into him. Alright, Boor. But even still, he has undoubtedly become a true god now. <sighs> so we're too late? <laughs> we gotta yoink him out of there. Pull those wires out of him. God? The Balladeer. A long bygone title. Mm. When my spirit ascended to divinity, I felt as if I had existed for the same number of epochs as heaven and earth. Jesus. Looking back, the existence of what once called Kuri itself Kuri Kuri Kazushi appears infinitely small and ugly. Uh, I wonder what he's going to go by if he's going to give a new name to himself when he becomes the Wanderer. Yo, what the fuck? What an intro. Okay, that was a long ass it's name. Aura. It really feels like a god. What was this? A Shoku, Shokakami, something, something. Jesus Christ. A body that capitalizes on the Balladeer's original construction as a mechanical puppet. Yeah. With the Gnosis serving as a constant power supply. All right, so obviously, if the Electro Gnosis gets yoinked, he's not going to be able to be a god anymore. How much effort and resources did the Sages put into this? From a purely technological perspective, it's a commendable achievement indeed. Mm. It's no exaggeration to say this is the culmination of human wisdom. But I don't think he's reached the spiritual height of a god. So he's still the same old balladeer on the inside. Strife is engraved upon every god and every gnosis <laughs> brought forth into this world. Oh, I love the freaking sound effect on his voice. Can you feel it? The exhilaration of such power and the thrill of anticipation for our contention. Everlasting Lord of Arcane Wisdom. See, Arcane Wisdom. Not. I don't know if that's true wisdom. Nahida wouldn't feel the same things as you. Do you not realize that you are interrupting a conversation between <laughs> gods? All right. Lowly creature, know your place. You're still having those temper tantrums, my dude. I don't know if you're as wise as you think. <laughs> still the same balladeer we know exactly. The strife engraved upon a gnosis. You're talking about the Archon War. Tavat's current peace was not easily won. I didn't personally participate in the Archon War. Oh. But the way I see it. Well, I guess Nikita didn't, but didn't Ruka Devada? Isn't that. All those losses were meaningless, driven by the demands of the laws. There's no point in bringing it up again. <laughs> Is that so? Mm. Yet I am deeply disappointed that I was never allowed the fortuity to personally participate in the Archon War. The way that he thinks about it is like the Archon War is what led to the Seven. It basically deemed them gods. You know, he's like, oh, if I was there, I'd be a god among them. This is a first. Encountering a god in this world who does not crave power. No wonder your own people have abandoned you. God of wisdom. But from now on, Nahida's followers will only continue to increase in number. <laughs> your judgment is as your existence. Unsubstantial. This is where everything ends, Boor. The God of wisdom. You should know that wisdom cannot solve every problem. Mm. Like now, where your only option is to face me in combat. Oh, yeah, well, she got her Digimon and the main character, so that's all she needs. And her fucking galaxy brain. Oh, damn, she's pissed. She's like, I will not have you disrespect me in my own fucking nation. Not today. Come, let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Mm. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. All right, music is already, uh... I hear it. I hear it. All right, it's already popping off. Sure. Whoa, Animo! <laughs> Holy shit. I want to listen. Hydro? <laughs> oh, I see the elements on the floor. It's interesting how he doesn't have Dendro. All right, I want to listen to the music first. This is actually really... What the fuck? Bro, this is so sick. Dude, the prisms. My endless... <laughs> oh my god. Bro, this is so cool! Terminate! Alright, I gotta just I gotta I gotta be a gamer! I gotta dodge! Holy shit! 
Dude, Are you hit me, chance! Oh my god, this is so cool. All right, I don't know what this is. I don't know how to fight him. Torn to oblivion. Shine down. Get him. Get him. Nice. Oh, that's how I do it. Oh my god. Aether! God damn it, I'm literally one shot. There we go. Holy moly. Yeah, that fight was actually kind of confused. I don't know how like how the mechanic for him works. I have to figure it out in the full fight. Oh damn. Aether. Is this a transition moment? <laughs> Yeah, I wonder how the transition moment's gonna be in the full fight. Oh, okay, so there's another music. There's another song now. Now he's mixing elements. Oh my god! Look at this guy! Holy fuck, I actually kind of want to see his moves first. Oh god, don't step on me. I'm not one of those people. I actually don't want you to step on. What the hell is this? Oh. Maybe. They're, uh, they're I giant bombs that I walked into. Alright. How the fuck do I fight this guy? Aren't I supposed to use this pet to attack him? Reality is what the fuck is this? Oh, I guess that was just on Rails moment. Aether died. Aether, how are you alive? You're dead, buddy. This is actually kind of cool, though. Holy shit. <laughs> Another sword stab moment. Holy shit. Come on, Aether, you're animal. God damn it. Oh, my God. Okay, maybe Aether is actually dead. <laughs> Oh, this is so sick. This is such a cool cutscene. Hey, where's my little Digimon, dude? Oh, shit. Uh, what? Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. He's just a baby. This is supposed to be a battle between gods. Yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now... You're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. She's not you're acting. Having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor. Wait, is he stealing her gnosis? Wait a minute! What the fuck? The, the data collection is almost complete. Whoa. Do you even know how many times you've tried to take my gnosis from me? Wait, wait, what? Wait! What is happening? Nani the fuck? We just concluded the 168th loop. What? This man Sumeru was in a fucking Samsara! Bro, they brought the Samsara back? The people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzerus festivals and Samsara cycles. The power of dreams. What the hell? When did you use it on me? Bro, she literally hit them with the Genjutsu the second she walked in! <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> you can't even defeat me in a dream. But you can't even! You what can't do you defeat hope them to either! Achieve with this little trick? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Just like before, allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. <laughs> Holy shit, a golden knowledge capsule! Love that battle experience! It's more than that. Come no way. Everyone's wisdom no way! He's like, bro, I just that gave you a fucking level up! Of the Akasha. 
I've sent everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the Whoa. form of knowledge. I've asked them to help you find a way to defeat the false god. Bro, we're literally getting the freaking help of the people. This is literally just like Inazuma, but like with the uh, the statue, like the everyone's hopes and wishes. This is literally the power of anime. Oh my god, this is so sick. This is so fucking dope. Now, all of Sumeri's wisdom <laughs> is at your disposal. I'm Galaxy Brain! <laughs> Meaningless tricks won't save you. Alright, round two, buddy. Yeah, I felt like I really... Whoa. Oh, is that where the boss fight's gonna happen? On that little underground section? Jesus, Starmoosh, you're popping off, dude. But it's not gonna work. I'm the protagonist, and you've already done this 168 times. Sheesh! This is such a good Archon quest. This is so cool. Are you done with your tricks? No. Nope. Can I finally take this as a real battle between gods? You've already lost. I'll leave this to you. The first <laughs> sage of Buhr. Wait! I'm the first sage of Oh my I god! Am the all -knowing I'm the first god. sage of Nahida! I'm Nahida's first sage! That's so cool! Oh my yo, this guy's pop! Look at this little dude! to oblivion holy moly this is so fucking cool oh this is the music Kneel. yo look at him popping off all right get away from the bomb get away from the bomb also aether's alive again so i guess canonically i was supposed to die <laughs> God, what a Tremble. fucking bop. Reality oh my god. No! Watch out! Jesus, look at this field. Bro, what the fuck are these, like, void attacks and shit? Dude, this is so sick. Spring point. All right, the Neo Akasha Terminal has gained Burn enough energy. Hold it. Hold to aim. Oh. Neo. Oh my god, I just shot a giant nuke. A giant dendro nuke. This is so cool. Oh god. Uh, destroy? Oh shit. Come on. Come on! Alright, alright. Oh, do I have to shoot him before he launches it? Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm so stressed. How do I get up there? I have no idea. There's one behind? Oh, well, there was one right there too. I could have just warped there. All right, well, I got to take my time. So did I block like the one hit attack right there? That actually was stressing me out. I didn't know if I was going to make it. This is such a dynamic fight, man. I love it. Reality Dude, this is such is a cool, dang. like visually, this is just a sick ass move to look at. I hope it doesn't kill me, but it's really cool to look at. Your mother's very disappointed in you, Starmoosh! Oh, uh, you know, I could just, like, fight him right here. Uh-oh. No, thank you. Take this, buddy. Bop. Yeah, this is a super cool fight. I really like this fight. I don't really have to do a whole lot. This little guy over here is just, like, wailing off at the enemy with me just, like, sitting here. But, uh, I still think it's really neat. Also, Aether, what are you doing? All right, we got him, boys. Good shit. Bro, we're the first age of Nahida. We're literally the smartest in the land. Now, if only we can find our sister. Humans. Oh, shit. Filthy humans. Come on, buddy. We're not that bad. Nahida's like, I understand you. Oh, the Gnosis. Oh no, your toy's gone. Oh, that's what it looks like. 
I thought it would be a night piece. No. Wait. Please. Anything but the gnosis. Whoa. Bro. Don't even try. I'll never. I'll never go back. Aww. I can't help but feel bad for him in this moment. Oh shit. Oh my god. Dude, we just let him fall? Jesus Christ. At least he's a puppet. Hopefully he doesn't have pain receptors. We haven't yet found the answer to the most important mystery. Scarmoose just and ate shit and we're just we like to be saved. We still have a work a job With the to do. Power of another gnosis? <gasps> We may now finally understand the last memory of Greater Lord Rukadu. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo! What a great Archon quest! This is a divine That's right. the divine knowledge this castle. This is the last memory of my predecessor. Holy shit.